having trouble selecting a Halloween costume, you can never go wrong with one of the classics. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 traditional Halloween costumes. For this list, we're taking a look at the most common Halloween costumes people wear on this haunting holiday. I just hope this one fits me, so, I mean, I'm just a little bit nervous that it might not fit me, but hopefully it does. If you prefer your costume sexy over spooky, be sure to check out our other list of the top 10 sexiest Halloween costumes. Number 10, The Devil. If you were to dress up as the devil any other night of the year, people may think you have serious issues. On Halloween, however, you're free to embrace Satan. Yeah, sure, me too. The best part about dressing as the devil is that there are many different ways to interpret this malevolent icon. You can go the old-fashioned route with cartoonish red horns, a pitchfork, and cape. Hey, Bart. Hey. If you really want to get creative, however, you can create a truly terrifying Prince of Darkness. Either way, you're sure to have a sinfully good time. Well, you can't walk around like that. <laughs> Why not? Because it's insane. Number nine, Mummy. If you put getting a Halloween costume off until the last minute and need to improvise, the mummy look is probably your safest bet. All you need to do is grab a roll of toilet paper and wrap it around your body. By the way, the TP mummy also makes for a great party activity. If you have the time, though, you can go all out in the mummification process. Apply some deadly makeup to your flesh, drape yourself in rags, and you'll fit right in with the ancient Egyptian crowd. Now let's see who's really behind these bandages. <laughs> Dr. Najib! Number eight, a princess. If I lose a slipper tonight, you know where to find me. Oh, that reminds what? me. Since Halloween allows people to become whatever their heart desires for one night every year, it isn't surprising that so many girls like to live out their princess fantasies. While the warrior princess and video game princess costumes are popular, Disney primarily runs the princess racket. For generations, females of all ages have dressed as Snow White, Cinderella, Belle, and other royal Disney icons. Seeing as how the world is currently overcome with frozen fever, you can count on seeing plenty of Elsa and Anna costumes for years to come. You sacrificed yourself for me? I love you. Number seven, a pirate. Son, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. He's heavy. If being a princess is every little girl's dream, then a pirate's life is for every little boy. Gee, Disney sure knows what the kids want, huh? The pirate ensemble encompasses everything a boy could desire. Swashbuckling swordplay, a great sense of adventure, and a total disregard for hygiene. The dread pirate Steve be in no man's debt. I'll make a barter with you, true's in our star. Right. In exchange for your kindness, I'll be splitting me buried treasure with you. <laughs> Once I find it, that be. Girls have been known to put their own spin on the pirate look too, making this a gender neutral costume idea. Even if you're an adult, dressing as a pirate will certainly take you back to the glory days of your youth. Arr, it do be a landlubber who be shoving lasagna in his face. I declare this booty property of the queen. Number six, a zombie. Buddy of mine, makeup guy, showed me how to do this. Cornstarch, you know, some berries, a little licorice for the ladies. It suits my lifestyle. Zombies are among the many staples that we've come to associate with the Halloween season. When giving out candy, you can count on seeing at least a couple of these undead fiends assorted among the other trick-or-treaters. There are numerous different variations you can do on the zombie costume. However, there are several key elements that no zombie ensemble would be complete without. Ripped clothing, decrepit makeup, and gore galore. Stick a fake knife in your head for good measure, and you're ready to join the zombie apocalypse. Ah, is this better? Number five. A vampire. I bid you welcome. There was a time when vampires were nefarious monsters. Now, thanks to Twilight, they're widely seen as wimpy dreamboats. I love you. I love you. Whether you go as a scary vampire or an emo vampire for Halloween, however, getting dressed up is guaranteed to be a gothic good time. Plan on purchasing a pair of fake fangs, pale foundation makeup, 
and a couple of bags of blood. Oh, and don't forget to make a couple of bite marks on your neck. Just look out for anyone carrying garlic or crosses and get home before the sun comes up. Number four, a superhero or super heroine. Superheroes are all the rage right now, making them an especially popular costume concept come Halloween time. There are a variety of celebrated crime fighters to don the mask of, from Batman to Spider-Man and The Flash. The wide range of superheroes and superheroines also makes this great for group costumes, whether you and your friends wish to go as the Justice League or the Avengers. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Oh, wow! Look, honey, it's Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Bruce Valanche! I'm not Bruce Valanche! If you still have a superhero costume left over from Comic-Con, break out the cape, cowl, and spandex for a night of candy and cosplay. Number three, a clown. No! There are two routes you can take with a clown costume. Oh, that's quite a comeback, Dad. A heart attack. Come on, get up. Dad. On the one hand, you can try to make people laugh with your frizzy hair, red nose, and flamboyant jumpsuit. The alternative would be adding a butcher knife into the equation and making everybody float with dread. When you're down here with me, you float down! Of course, since some people are just naturally afraid of clowns of all kinds, you're inclined to frighten a few folks no matter what. Whether you make them laugh to death or scare them to death, a clown costume is the perfect trick-or-treat for Halloween. This is about a little boy who deserves some happiness. And he's gonna get that from his weird gay clown uncle? Fizbo is not gay. He's asexual. Oh. He, he's an innocent whose only drive is to bring people joy and laughter and balloon animals. He's, he's the least sexual being on Earth. Number two, a ghost. What do you think? Great! You're going as my trick-or-treat bag. No, no! A ghost is probably the most straightforward costume you can assemble for Halloween. Ooh. Ah, ghost! What the hell, man? This guy think he's a ghost or something? No way! Are you insane or just an idiot? All it takes is a bedsheet and a pair of scissors to cut eye holes. Anybody can make a basic ghost costume, except maybe Charlie Brown. I had a little trouble with the scissors. This is a costume for people that want to keep it simple. But there are also plenty of extravagant and gruesomely inventive ghost costumes out there. With hollow eyes, messy hair, and a physical appearance that tells your grim backstory, your ghost outfit can make for one haunted evening. Oh my god, I'm a real ghost. Before we dress up our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. You want to eat me? Yes. I'm Callista Flockhart. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm death. Number one, a witch. Something with poison in it, I think. With poison in it. When we think of witches, Halloween instantly comes to mind. They're practically the mascot for the holiday. Most witch costumes come complete with pointy hats, sharp fingernails, and a broomstick. If you want to look extra wicked, though, be sure to throw on some green face paint. Hey. You, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> you may prefer to go as a good witch, but Halloween is the night for double double toil and trouble. <laughs> Why not let out the cackling, malevolent creature inside you? What's the worst that could happen, aside from being burned at the stake? Do you agree with our list? It's impossible to, uh, to pinpoint any one cause in particular. What's your favorite traditional Halloween costume? And I can't even take off my hat because then I'm Hitler. 
For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You don't want to be doing that, mate. No, I really think I do. Thank <music> you.